So I was on eBay sometime around Christmas last year just looking up some cute accessories and whatnot when I discovered something that made me squeal like a little girl. I found these Japanese exclusive Evolution crystal drop charms that made me drop everything because of how much I wanted them. I remember doing my research and thinking, how has no one seen these charms? They are too adorable. And I found out that this is an EV Crystal Drops event that had a series of items that you had to win through a lottery tickets that you had to buy sometime around December in Akihabara, or, you know, somewhere like that. Well, I'm a poor American artist who has never been to Japan, so I bought these on eBay and thought, you know, this would make for a great video. I also bought a Sylveon one in the mail, so I'll probably do a separate video on that when that comes in. Since this is an art channel, I was inspired to do a piece on Leafeon Glaceon that was just inspired by these two charms that I absolutely love. And can I just say how much I loved Glaceon's design for this little thing? I just love the crystal and I just think it's the prettiest because it reminds me of an Aurora Borealis. In fact, I just love these so much that I actually put them both on my personal lanyard because I just wanted to wear them everywhere I go, you know, and just the thought of showing them off like, oh my gosh, cute Glaceon and Leafeon charms, it's like, thank you, they're exclusives from Japan that you probably never bought, sucker. <laughs> I know, that would be totally backhanded, but I don't care, they're mine, and I love them, and yeah. <laughs> I had a lot to think about when choosing between making a print out of these or not because I really wanted to do a traditional watercolor piece painting out of them, but I don't have a scanner so instead I just made a couple of thumbnails to see what I wanted to do and ended up doing a bit of a warm up sketch before moving on to the digital version. The evolutions are a pretty big thing for me, especially growing up. I always loved watching my brother play Pokemon Stadium when I was a toddler, and my eyes would sparkle whenever Vaporeon came out of its ball, and just seeing the glitter shine around it always made my little three-year-old heart flutter. When I was eight, I had gotten my first Game Boy Color, and well, my brother was about 16 years old and really didn't play Pokemon anymore, so I kinda just carried on that love. I think this was when my favorite evolution switched from Vaporeon to Espeon. Then later, when Gen 4 came around, it switched to Glaceon, then Umbreon. I don't know, my taste for the evolutions have switched a lot during the years. And I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but my least favorite has always been Jolteon. It doesn't look like an Eevee that I could cuddle and hug because of how spiky it is. In fact, you know what? Here's my top evolutions right now. <laughs> And I know, it's kinda strange to have Umbreon be so low on my list because it was my favorite at some point or another. It's definitely my favorite shiny of the evolutions. In fact, I purposely evolved my first shiny Eevee into an Umbreon, but over time my taste is favored back to Glaceon. I know ice types aren't very good in Pokemon, but ice will always be my favorite type. Then again, even though Jolteon is my least favorite, I still think it's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. I know a lot of people think that the evolutions are overrated, and while I can't say I blame you, they kinda are, but you can't not love them because of how well designed they are. I mean, admit, anyone would want to have an Eevee as a pet, it's just that adorable. And that, and I feel like there's an evolution for everyone. Vaporeon, I feel like it would be made for someone who likes to swim or lives by the beach, or even the thought of having a never-ending water fountain at your disposal is kinda nice. Jolteon, I think, would be made for musicians who play electric guitar or something, I don't know. Or someone who wants to save on their electric bill. That, and they'd be pretty much the only reason why I'd evolve an Eevee into a Jolteon. With Flareon, you're that person who is always cold or likes to snuggle, or you just need a match for your kitchen. Look at that floof. I would want to cuddle into a Flareon. It's that adorable. Espeon really isn't a Pokemon I feel anyone would evolve for functionality's sake, but it is a very good Pokemon as a pet since it's supposed to be very loyal, and let's face it, Espeon just looks super cuddly, and it would protect you forever because of its soft skin. Oh right, it can also predict the leather, but hey. Umbreon is more for those people who are total night owls. I feel like they'd be great for a nightlight, but not as a good cuddler because, you know, poison sweat. Leafeon is that pet you would take with you when you're going out to the garden or something because you're a hippie who's just one with nature. Well, because it's a grass type, I feel like anyone with more of an environmentalist feature to themselves would love to have this Pokemon. I know I would. 
Glaceon, I only want because it's super cute and during the summer I can make myself free shaved ice with alcohol in it. Ooh. Anyways, but unfortunately I don't feel like I could cuddle it because one, it's probably super cold and I feel like she'd be too much of a queen to begin with. I'll, I'll hail the royal Glaceon queen, oh my gosh. And finally, Sylveon. I think Sylveon would make the best pet just because of those soothing ribbons that make you happy. And it wants to make you happy just because it loves you so much because you loved it so much. That and it can slay dragons. Who can say no to that super cute cotton candy Pokemon face? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't know, Evolutions have always had a way of fueling my I must have instincts. That and everyone who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with crystals. Like, I watched Even Universe at first just because of the crystal gems, even though it wasn't that great of a show at first. I mean, it combined two of my favorite things in the world. How can I not go for it? Granted, I didn't have like a hundred dollars to spend on the entire collection, but I figured I'd grab my favorites of the bunch. If it weren't for the fact that Leafeon was packaged in the steel, I probably would have never gotten the set of Leafeon and Glaceon. Not saying I love Leafeon, I think it's a very well designed and unrated evolution. But let's face it, I'm biased, of course I had to get Glaceon. And unfortunately, when I was going on eBay at the time, there was no Glaceon keychains being sold by themselves. If I had to choose four of these charms for myself, I'd pick Vaporeon, Espeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon. I mean, they were my preferred evolutions from each generation, so I'm pretty sure that's why I made my decision on that. I I'm still pretty happy with what I have right now. I mean, two out of four out of my favorites ain't bad. Would I ever want all of these in the set? Eh, maybe in the future, but right now I have other things I need to worry about financially, so I'll just keep my money saved so I can function like an everyday human for now. Seriously though, art supplies is expensive and I'm not making that much on YouTube, so... Yeah. You know, something I haven't done during the duration of this video is talk about the art in the video. You know, the thing you've been watching for the past seven minutes or so. And I gotta say, I'm proud of how this came out. And I know this video is kind of out later than I wanted it to, but I've been finding it harder to get motivated to do art lately. That's no one else's fault but mine, since I finally finished something for the first time in a while. I'm feeling pretty good about myself based on the end results. I think my biggest feat is usually getting started because when I start sketching, I usually take hours on that alone because when I look at my sketch, I'm trying to picture what the end result will be. And sometimes that changes, like for example, I wanted to do those mountains but just didn't do it because I kinda got tired and thought it was looking great just the way it was, so I kinda just ended it off like that with a few decorations. That's another thing I should touch on. When it comes to digital speed paints, I know some artists do this, but I don't like recording the sketch, only because it takes me hours to complete it. I do post work in progress shots on Twitter, but I don't like to record it just because of the fact that making the sketch alone would just take up a lot of space on my hard drive, and honestly, I'd rather not blow up my computer just because of the trial and error that is the sketch. I think the part I like most about speed paints is seeing the coloring in the background stuff, just because when I do it, there's a lot that goes into it. Maybe someday I'll do a video that shows how I shade my art and what I used to blend, because when some people look at my art style, they usually think of something like a watercolor style, which I'm flattered, but isn't really the case for me. I honestly wouldn't know how to describe my style other than, well, sparkly and shiny. Some people aren't really into that, but that's okay. I would like to explore something with muted colors in the future. I think that would be a good challenge for me. Yeah. You know what? Hey guys, in the comments, if you want to see any possible challenges, maybe for the future, I might consider it. I'm up for suggestions. I mean, hey, this channel is going to be hot and fresh out of the oven for now until I uh, get totally demotivated again <laughs> because of all the other things I gotta take care of, but you know what, I'd still like to hear your thoughts in the comments. As we reach closer to the end of the video, I want to ask you guys what you think of this style of videos because I think it's better formatted in a sense of scripted rambling rather than hearing bad audio and struggling to figure out what the heck I'm doing with what I'm working with. But I still want to hear your thoughts and see what you guys think. And while you're still here, be sure to also comment what your favorite evolution is and why. Or maybe you just want to keep your Eevee as an Eevee. That's fine too. 
I'm pretty sure I'm also out of things to say, but hey, you've made it this far, and I thank you for that. guys, I hope you enjoyed the speed draw of these two lovely Pokemon. I had a lot of fun drawing this one once I made the time for it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, sub my channel for more future content, and to help me shine bright like a diamond. If you'd like to help me out by giving me a morning boost, consider donating me a cup of coffee. It's only $3 and supports me by letting me eat while I get that studio art degree. J just remember to take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a lovely day! Bye!